Hey guys, it's game day and I have just the right recipe for you. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nancy's Love Kitchen. Today is football day and we are making chili. Yay! Chili is a popular dish on game day and I have all the ingredients ready for you. So let's do this. All right, guys, I have the meat here. We have two different kinds. For chili, I'm going to do two pounds of ground beef, and I have a pound of Italian sausage. You can use mild or you can use hot. I have mild here since my kids are going to have this also, so I don't want it to get too spicy for them. Let's get cooking. All right, guys, so here we are cutting up one green bell pepper. I cut them to small pieces. All right, and I'm gonna use a red bell pepper as well. So this recipe calls for a lot of ingredients, but I promise you it will be worth it. Not a lot of chopping to do, it's just, you know, the only choppings is the bell peppers, onions, and a pepper, that's it. A chili pepper. One yellow onion. Again, um, not a lot of chopping, just three different things and a hot pepper. Cut them up to small pieces. There's no frying here. It's just everything's gonna go in a crock pot or a Dutch oven, so. All right, so we're at the stove now. We're gonna brown the ground beef and the uh, um, Italian sausage, so let's get started. I'm gonna put both meats in at the same time. Have a meat smasher. If you guys don't have one of these, I suggest you invest in one. They're amazing for cutting up um, ground beef or ground chicken. Anything ground is just, it's perfect. You don't have to put too much effort into it, cutting up, you know, or chopping up like the ground beef in the pot. All right, guys, once the meat is brown, we're going to add all the chopped stuff, the um, peppers, the onions, and garlic, um, along with the jalapeno pepper. Add them all in here. Mix it all up. Just a good mix is enough. And then we're going to add all the rest of the ingredients. All right. This is looking beautiful. I'm going to add chili beans in here. A can of diced tomatoes and juice. Mix it all up. Look at that. All right, now we're going to add all the spices in here. Ready? I have beef base. I have a cup of bacon. Mmm, who doesn't love bacon? I have some cumin. I have basil. Chili powder. Cayenne pepper. Spicing this baby up. And paprika. Last but not least, I have some oregano. Mix it all up. Let's add some salt. Salt and pepper is too taste, so I suggest tasting it before adding 
you know, whatever amount of salt you want to add on here. And just a little bit of black pepper since we already added so much chili powders and cayenne and all that stuff. We don't want it to be too, too spicy unless you love it spicy. A couple of dashes of Tabasco. Maybe a little bit more than a dash. We like it spicy. But then I, the kids don't, so. I'm going to add this guy. I'm not even going to bother saying the name. Worcestershire sauce. But you get it. A dash. And the best part. Should I have a sip first before I add it on there? Maybe I'll leave a sip after I'm adding it in here. A bottle or a can of beer. Cheers. All right, now that all the ingredients are in here, we're gonna let this thing simmer for two to three hours. The longer it simmers, the better it's gonna taste. Um, I didn't have enough time today, so I put it in my little um, cast iron, but I would suggest leaving this overnight in a crock pot. So let it simmer for a couple of hours and I'm gonna show you the end results. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, it's ready, and I'm going to pour some in a bowl for you and show you what goes on top of it to make it all come together perfectly. All right, everything is done. I have three toppings here that we personally like to use, but you can use whatever toppings you like. I have some uh, tortilla strips. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the cheese on first because I want it to get melty on there. Put some shredded cheese. Add some sour cream and the tortilla strips. Oh my. Look at this. Look at this. Ready for a taste? Stir it a little bit. Get that sour cream and the cheese. Ooh. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Sometimes I even surprise myself. Oh my god, this is amazing. Guys, I hope you're going to enjoy this recipe. Leave a comment if you have any questions about it. All right, guys, so we're coming to an end with this video. Let me know how you like the recipe and also leave a comment for me if you have any questions. Let me know who your favorite team is. Definitely mine is the Eagles, so go Eagles! Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. See you next time.